Hello everybody and welcome back to my second channel. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice is going there for a second. Today it's time for another Q&A. Uh, I had a little break. I had, well not really a break, but on Wednesday I uploaded my 9con vlog and on Monday I had a special video which was the behind the scenes from my animation. So I feel like I haven't filmed the Q&A in so long. But today I'm back with two questions. Both are from Kenneth. Kenneth asked, do you have a car? If you do, what were your ways of saving money for it and how long did it take? I actually don't have my own car. I can use my mum's car. So I can't really tell you how long it would take to save up for a car. But um, I was thinking about some ways because I am probably going to get my mum's car and she's going to buy a new one. But I feel like if I want to, if I wanted to buy a car, uh, I was thinking of some ways where you can save up money. If you're studying or you're still in school or whatever, um, I feel like just helping out your parents, doing some house stuff or whatever and just ask for a little bit of money here and there, like you could wash their car or something like that and whenever you do that, don't just go and buy something but put it aside. If you have a job, obviously just put some money aside, I don't know, either each week or each month just so you can save up money over time because I feel like if you I don't know, want to buy a car within a month, then you have to put away so much money. But if you do it over a longer period of time, it's not that bad, I feel like. I mean, it's obviously gonna take longer, but personally, I'm not stressed about that, so I wouldn't mind. You have to have the willpower not to go and use that money as well, so, because otherwise it's not gonna work. But yeah, those were some tips. Um, I honestly don't know how long that would take if you just go on and putting bit by bit aside. Um, but as I said, I don't really care about buying a car, so I can't really help you. Um, but I hope that those little tips um, were helpful. And your second question was, do you listen to any artists that are based on vocal music? What are they and what are your top five favorite songs? So I'm guessing you mean acapella, right? I hope I understood that right because otherwise I'm stupid and you're not gonna get the answer that you wanted. Um, basically, I only listen to one group, uh, which is Pentatonix. Uh, I don't really have any other acapella groups that I listen to. Who are... Oh, what's the name? They actually made a song with Avi. Oh, I forgot the name. They have a song that is called Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget. It's amazing. I cannot remember the name to save my life. So I'm going to put the name or the group up here. I love this song. It's original and it's so good. I love it. And Ring of Fire with Avi is also really good. But I don't really listen to their music like regularly. It's it's only it's only pentatonics more or less. And my top five favorite songs, that is so hard. Um I could tell you the top five favorite songs from their new album if you want to, because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to do that. Sorry, I'm looking over there because I have the album open. Uh, I'm also going to see Pentatonics on Wednesday, so I'm really excited. I have 26 songs saved on my Spotify from them. Maybe I can just choose some from there. Oh my god. So I have to say Can't Hold Us because that was the song that made me fall in love with them. I really like Hey Mama and Hit The Road Jack. It's really, really good. I really like Rose Gold. It's so, so nice. Um, oh my god, that's too hard. I love Cracked. Okay, and a random one. I could tell you so many others, but a random one. Cruising for a Bruising. It's really good. It's so summery. Why am I so white? Jesus Christ. Don't make me look like a ghost. Jeez. Um, Cruising for a Bruising is my summer hit. I listen to it every summer. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. Those were probably not my five top favorite songs. 
um, but those were just the ones that I have on my Spotify. And yeah, other than that, I don't really listen to any vocal based bands. This month, I have not listened to anything else other than jazz and 90s music. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, but I have just the. If you're looking for a really good jazz playlist, go on Spotify and type in Coffee Table Jazz. It is from Spotify and it's so amazing. I always have it on the background while I'm drawing. So uh, I would really recommend that if you're into jazz. Should I promo a bit? Maybe I should promo a bit. Uh, I have a Tumblr where I post my art if you're interested in the outcome of my jazz sessions. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm completely going off topic. I'm so sorry, Kenneth. Um, but yeah, those were my answers. I hope they were okay. Um, I know they weren't really helpful, but it's just the best that I can do. Those were all the questions that I had for today. If you have any questions for me, then let me know in the comments down below so I can make more of these videos. And other than that, I will hopefully see you very soon. I actually don't have a video planned for next Wednesday, so we might see each other next Sunday. So there might be a little break in between, but we will see. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.